test flight for me after picking the airplane up. Got Simpson and now Chad from Aztec here. Chad's got a supercomputer with lots of parameters. Being checked and recorded over here. And his phone going also. We're going to taxi out, test her out. See how she does. I'm going to stop here for the run up. Alright, I don't see anybody in the pattern. Yeah, that guy was departing eastbound. I saw him in the crosswind. Alrighty. Mineral Wells traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's taking runway 13 for departure to the southwest, Mineral Wells. No reply, nobody. Of course, there's a little, just enough of a hill here so you can't quite see the approach into the other, the other side. Fuel pumps are on low. That makes sure you know. Time off is 9.20. says that Skyco reported off Fox 30 is five miles east of the field at 3,500, uh, departing last call, mineral wall traffic. All right, throttles up to 1700. Everything's looking good. Fixed are released. Airspeed's alive. Rotate. Tap the brakes. They're coming up. Pitching for blue line. And starting a right turn out. We're clear to the right. So I can just tap y'all down for now, right? You can. We're on the floor. Got climb power. What altitude? Uh... Yeah, let's uh, set a pre-select altitude for how about 6,500. See what that looks like. All right, altitude pre-select set for 65. Okay. Yeah, so if you hit uh, AP on right now, press the AP button, that'll engage autopilot flight director into roll pitch. So it's just going to sync to your current attitude. Now, if you'll just... Uh, yeah. We can we can go uh, what roll mode we want or what pitch mode we want. You can do either one at the moment. So if we go to nav mode, which you typically would do, so just go nav on the autopilot. It's going to go to nav GPSS because GPS is selected as our source for the HSI. I can fix this with audio. It sounds funny. Side tone sounds a little funny. And you're just in pitch hold right now. So if you go to uh, airspeed, press IAS. It's going to sync to your current airspeed, which is in knots. Yeah. And we're making a 45 degree intercept for that course over to Abilene. And that's a smooth intercept. So if you want to, you want to increase your your speed for your climb out. You use your up down button. You can also use vertical speed. If you yeah. press VS, it will sync to the current. It captured it nicely. Yeah. They just locked onto that thing. Yep. So it'll it would sync to current. Then you can change it. You're up down right. 
saw trim indication pop up on the screen. That's auto trim, you know, running. Yeah. I'm going to turn the volume up for us just so we're sure we hear the altitude. All right. So we should get a thousand feet. Should get a thousand to go. Here. And I've been matching this. Uh, you're, you're close. You're within like 20 to 40 feet of your G5. Yeah. I just make them match each other. So set this one and then make the other one match. Thousand to go. There, there's your call out. I can turn her up a little more. Yeah, so we can go, uh, if you sink your heading bug up on the G5. Yeah, sink, you sink up your heading bug. Press heading mode. Make a right turn, 90 degrees, clear right. The other thing that uh, we're going to check will be your uh, flap compensator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's much nicer over here. And this thing. Two hundred to go. This fly so smooth. different than your old autopilot? Oh man. Yeah, that, the roller coaster days are over. So your GPS 1-2 switch, we're selecting the GPS 1 position. That's probably going to be your normal. Sure. Um, yeah, the FAA says that a switch position is not a, a valid indication of, a, uh, of your mode. And so we have a GPS-2 light will come on indicating to the pilot he's following GPS-2. Mainly because it's possible that the pilot can still be looking at uh, altitude, a different source than what the autopilot's flying. And so we're, we're highlighting, hey, you're, fo you're following GPS-2, make sure that your CDI is such a GPS-2. Gotcha. Uh, with, a, with a fully digital interface, where you have uh, an EFIS that's selecting, you select CDI, GPS 1 or 2, you don't need the light. But the autopilot's able to select a different source. Uh, so we're gonna, let's set up the approach. Uh, procedure RNAV, yeah, we'll go to Mineral Wells first. Procedure RNAV, uh, we'll do the 3-1. And I'll have you step down to uh, the 4,000 feet. Did you hear that guy in the approach? Chat? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alrighty, so now we're going to go to procedures, select approach, RNAV 3-1. Yeah, let's use Gumpy. Gumpy. And we can go ahead and activate it. And you can hit uh, nav on the autopilot. And you said down to 4,000. Yeah, down to 4,000. Nice standard rate. Altitude 200 to go. So, so we can slow down below uh, flap speed. I'd like to drop the flaps and see what uh, we get any kind of ballooning out of it. Already. I'll start cooling her down and working on that. So we're four minutes away from Gumpy. You want to do that? Before or after? Yeah, we'll do it before Gumpy, just just in case I want to make a change, we can see it again. Got you. He's trimming up as we're slowing down. Yep, 200, so it, it reduces itself down to 200 feet per minute will be the slowest it goes before it hits out hold. You can put them down now, below 180. For the first notch, we'll see what kind of... Kind of pitching All right, there we go. Go ahead. Much better. It, I mean, you yeah, saw the VSI change, but you didn't see the absolute change. Yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah, did feel did good. Three, one, yeah, and that's final, that's pretty much worst case three, two, too. Two miles out. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and pick them back up. And then when we get to 
You'll get a little bump there. So when we get to uh, Gumpy, can you slow down a little bit more to kind of your normal point that you put flaps in? All right. I want to make sure that we're not driving too too hard. Okay. I'll shoot a normal normal approach. Well, we were a minute and 17 from Gumpy, which this is a aggressive turn angle. So yeah. We'll so see how she and here's does. your countdown. Yeah. yeah. Another thing you can do with this autopilot, you can even put it into approach mode, and, and let's say that they've already cleared you for the approach, you can put it into approach mode and it'll fly approach GPSS, and then once it crosses east inbound, you change from, from terminal on your 530 to LPV, the autopilot is already in the mode and it'll switch to approach GPSL, and if you have a valid glide slope, it'll come up uh, G GPSV, so... Yeah, so we can even zoom in. So it's going to do the flyby. Yeah. Man, that was very smooth. Let's say they cleared you for the approach. You can press approach mode now, and it's going to show approach GPS at GPSS, and um, we'll we'll stay in this. And so we're still in roll steering. And once we cross east inbound, it'll show approach GPS L. Helicopter two one nine one is doing a missed procedure. Left hand turn, climb to the lateral. over MQP as bubble jet three thousand mineral traffic. Six seconds. gives a tone because it switched over and it saw the needle movement but right so approach GPSL we got GPS V armed we're in out hold and we're two dots high now go ahead and drop the approach flaps that does nice that's not yeah that's <laughs> not bad at all that does really nice approach flaps are set we're one dot high on the glide slope And at glide slope intercept, we'll drop the gear. Sounds good. There it goes, it's capturing. Got three in the green. Traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo, Charlie's on an 8 mile final runway 31, Mineral Wells. All throttle. Mineral traffic, welcome 2191 is entering the hold is published over MQP at 3000, Mineral traffic. Quite the crab angle we're going. Oh. That uh, guy's 400 below us. We may have to break off away from him. Three hundred feet below us. He's gonna be out uh, out here. Two hundred feet. Nice to you. There he's one hundred feet right there. Oh, oh yeah. Helicopter. Traffic. Twelve o'clock. Same altitude, one mile. Yeah, helicopter 2191 has the incoming airplane in sight. One Bravo Charlie, we have you in sight as well, thank you. This should show up on the camera. Alright, back to business. 
Yeah, look at that crab angle we're holding. Yeah. Up about uh, 10 degrees. Oh. Figured it out. She got it locked. Yeah, in. it worked it out. You get as you're descending down, you get the wind change also that's shifting the whole entire way down. The autopilot's constantly having to recalculate what that angle is. What was the field elevation here again? I forget. Uh, 940. Are we going to do this to a full stop, or are we going to do this to a... Uh, yeah, I'm happy with what we've got, so um, we can we can go to a full stop. I don't know if you want to circle the land or back to 1-3, totally up to you. Um, minimums is uh, 1180 or 1174. So. 1174? Yeah. We'll go down to minimums. Yeah. So just for fun, let's put another notch of flaps in and see what it does. See how much we can mess it up. <laughs> it handled that really well. So when you snap off the land, do you typically... Do you I just hold, I press and hold the AP disconnect the until, it, until, until it completely clears. Um, because you'll get the, the call outs. Oh, the other thing we could do, if, you, if you'll just go... Um, Go low approach back to the west for a second. I'll okay. show you the unusual attitude stuff. All right. Well, in that case, we'll just do the go around button. Yeah, you can do that. But the, don't need that anymore. Runway's clear. Under. Go. Oh. Yep, slightly left, coming back. And there we go. Autopilot disconnect. Uh, what we're doing this climb, let's see, let's actually do this. I'm going to change your altitude target way up out of the way. And I'm going to set you a kind of a ridiculous vertical speed. And I want you to pull the power back just a little bit, and it's going to lower the nose. We should get an airspeed call out. Pitch trim in motion. So we got a pitch trim in motion and alert at the same time. Yeah. So she's going to so get the airspeed. she shoves the nose back yeah. down. Did you see it shove the nose? So that yeah. Airspeed. Airspeed. So it's not going to let you stall. Nice. Um, and we're also, for the 310, going to reduce that number. Airspeed. Airspeed. Okay, so to get back out of that, I would change my vertical speed rate first to something more reasonable. Yeah, and re-engage the mode. Airspeed. Pressing BS will take it out of the mode, and then you can go back in. So we're now at holding 600 feet a minute. Gotcha. Okay, so now we're we're clear and we're high enough. So disconnect the autopilot completely. Check. Yep, and press it until your fly FD light, there you go, it's all the way off. Yep. And then I'm gonna, I've got the controls, we'll take them a sec. All right, you've Power got the set where you want it. Oh, I got them. But let's say you get to an unusual attitude, we go pull ourselves up. And you're confused, you're turn, trying to turn yourself around. Autopilot. You can just let go. So, so if you're, you get an, I, in an unintentional IMC, pilot's getting disoriented. So a method that you can go and punch level mode and it's gonna right the aircraft. Then you can go, okay, I'm gonna sink my heading bug. Autopilot. I'm going to get into heading mode and I'm going to press out hold Level. and I want to maintain this heading and this altitude and now I can use my heading bug go back to my known v, you know, VFR weather was the other way I'm going to go 180 degrees Level mode. and turn us around and then you can go set you a target get yourself gives yourself some time to get yourself figured out don't 
Uh, let the, uh, the autopilot's not going to get disoriented. Level. So let the autopilot fly the airplane. So if I just so push it's, that, it'll Yeah, stop. so she'll, it, she'll quit Level. talking. Yep, so press AP now. It kicks on AP and yaw damp, and now the autopilot's just engaged. Gotcha. But it can handle, you know, a pretty aggressive uh, upset. I still have the controls disconnecting. Uh, so we'll do that one. We'll do one to the left this time. Helicopter 2-1. On the, uh, yep, so or, uh, reach over there and press level. ILS, 3.4 miles, miles out uh, from uh, Mineral Wells, Mineral Wells traffic. That's pretty well. Huh. So she's going to keep on griping. Level mode, engage autopilot. So what we're doing, we're asking the pilot to, to do something, right? Yeah. So you can do it, yep. Sink your heading bug. Here, go out, hold, and then sink your heading bug. And then you can go put direct mineral wells back in or something and pick uh, the direction you want to go. Gotcha. But that's basically it. Um, autopilot can be disconnected. You know, you can just turn it off. So there's about, there's three ways to disconnect it, four ways really. So press the AP, that'll disconnect it. And then you can individually disconnect them. Uh, yaw damper is cool. It's it's it talks you. Uh, it actually has a voice for the yaw damper disconnect. Yaw damper disconnect. Uh, other way is like all autopilots. If anytime you run manual electric trim, it's going to disconnect it, but it's going to leave flight director and yaw damper on. Autopilot disconnect. Gotcha. But uh, press and hold the AP disconnect. Clears everything if you hold it down for a second and a half, it clears it all. Gotcha. You have a CWS, so engage AP into roll pitch. If you hit CWS and change the attitude, which is the blue one, correct? Yeah, it's the blue one. So change yourself into a different pitch attitude, roll attitude, and let go. It's just going to grab that attitude and hold it. If you're in out hold, or let's do VS, so you can go to VS mode. Okay, press it, drive yourself to a different VS. Just press and hold oh. CWS. Now, so your pitch and roll clutches have, have let go. Your yaw damper is still engaged. Yep. And watch your number. So you're at zero feet per minute. When you release it, uh, whatever the uh, current the vertical speed target is, when you release it, it'll try to maintain it. The same with airspeed. Um, altitude, if you wanted to change to a different altitude, you could drive down. Stabilize yourself there because it does run a filter, so if you just go down there real quick and snap it, it's not gonna, it may not grab exactly what you wanted. So let the filter catch up, and it'll typically indicate, it, like vertical speed, it'll indicate on the screen, air speed will indicate on the screen, but altitude doesn't. So it's just gonna, that, that's only selected altitude, not your current altitude. Gotcha. But when you let go, it would maintain the altitude that you let, the, let go of the control wheel steering. Which is why we're. Yeah. That's all I got to do is switch yeah, so it over now. hold, and it's going to grab the current altitude we're at and level off. So we can put back in uh, direct mineral wells. Dad, you tum uh, tumbled my gyro, man. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my gimbal. <laughs> as soon as you did that unusual, it just goes bram. <laughs> I gave up. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we are. On glide path, lined up. Autopilot's disconnected, yaw dampers off. Life is good. On speed. And my final ear check, ears down. Flaps identified, I can get them if you want me to. Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, flaps coming up. Go heater to fan. Oh yes, please. Paint your first time in a twin Cessna.
<laughs> nope. Yeah. Usually I'll just turn the heat off. I do too. On a two, you know, about yeah. the time you're turning final, and that gives you the two minute cooldown. Yeah. Yeah. They just tip as long as you don't go straight to off, you'll be okay. Mineral Wells traffic, Twin Sesto 1 Bravo Charlie is clearing runway 13, Mineral Wells. Well, very impressed. You guys put out a pretty sweet product. Thanks. I appreciate it.